Hello and welcome to another Webinar Wednesday presented by Profit Business Group. Today we're going to be taking a look at managing receivables in Business Central. And collections is very important. After all, customers' money is how we pay our bills. So how do we know who to call for collections and for how much? Well, in this webinar, I'm going to show you how to find customer balances, whether that be through Business Central visual indicators on the homepage or running reports. We'll take a look at reminders in Business Central and how reminder terms are used to issue these reminders. And we'll also have a goal at running some statements. Let's jump into Business Central to take a look. So here I am on my Business Central demo company. In regards to the question of who owes us money and for how much, there are several different reports we can run and pages that we can visit for this information. On the Business Central homepage, we have an overdue sales amount right here. And there's a red bar underneath it. The red bar is a visual indicator stating that this is an unfavorable amount and therefore it should be looked at. If I drill in, I can see which transactions are making up this amount. If I scroll over to the side, we'll get a list of due dates for each of these transactions and they're all highlighted in red here. Um, another visual indicator stating that these are indeed past their due date. I can also go to the customer list to see account balances. The amounts that are past their due date are listed in this balance due column. From the customer list, I can also run reports such as the aged accounts receivable to see who owes what. Let's take a look at this report. So it's going to be under reports. It's a finance report and we have a whole uh, list of different um, aging reports here available to us, but I'll just run this aged accounts receivable one here just to give you guys a, um, a quick uh, view of what this looks like. So I'm just going to preview it. And this preview is going to print at the screen. And if I just zoom in here, um, we'll see it's listing every one of our customers in the system and uh, what their current aged customer balances are. So what are the, some of the ways that we can remind our customers that they have an outstanding balance? First, let's take a look at reminders. And uh, these reminders can either be run manually from a customer card, or we can set them up to be run automatically via a batch job. Before we run this batch job, we have to set up reminder terms codes on each one of those customer cards. Let's take a look at these reminders terms first. So I'm going to search here for reminder terms. And we can see that we have two different codes set up in the system, uh, reminder terms for domestic customer and reminder terms for foreign customers. We're mostly going to be focusing on these domestic customers today. And so next we want to take a look at the levels. So uh, each time we want to we run a reminder, um, it's going to be level one for the first time it's run, level two for the next time, level three, and so on. So if we take a look at our levels here, we can see that we have three different uh, levels set up for our domestic customers. And uh, on the first run, we can see that, uh, I want you guys to pay attention here, that the $770 fee is going to be levied. Okay, and uh, each subsequent run, it looks like the fee goes up. And on the final run as well, we're going to be calculating interest on those overdue amounts. Okay, so now that these levels are done here, let's go back to our customer card uh, just to see where we would set these reminder terms. So I'm going to pull up a few customers here and uh, we set our reminder terms on our payment section. So we can see reminders terms code of domestic has been set for, I think, our first five customers here in the system. I'm just going to scroll through just to confirm that. So yes, all the way up to uh, customer ID 30,000, looks like we have reminders terms code set. Now I'm going to go back to my customer list here. And uh, pay attention here, we can see that actually of all the, uh, the reminders terms codes has been set for all five customers here, but only two of these customers have uh, balance due amounts. Okay, so to run reminders, what I want to do is I want to search here for reminders. And we can see we currently have no reminders in the system. So I'm going to run a batch job now to generate the reminders to our uh, customers. So that will be through our process here. And I'll create reminders. 
uh, we've got a few options here we can select. My customer filter, I'm going to leave it wide open so that we get all customers. And I'll go ahead and run that. And we can see here it's generated two reminders for both of those customers that had uh, balanced dues. If I drill in to each one of these reminders, we can see there's that $7.70 fee I was talking about earlier. So if I take a look at this other reminder, we can see that that fee was levied as well to this customer. So once we review these reminders and everything looks fine, um, we want to issue these reminders to the customer. So that can be done through our actions here. And so when I issue this, I'm going to get a chance um, to choose if I want to print it, do nothing with it, or email it to the customer. So these reminders, once they've been reviewed and everything looks fine, you can go ahead and email them out to the customer. Then they're going to get a report email to them, letting them know that, hey, you have these amounts due to us and, you know, please pay as soon as possible. Another way that we can inform a customer of an amount owing is through the use of statements. I'm going to search here for statements in the system and I'm going to choose this option. We can see that I already have some parameters here filled out for my statement run. Uh, we can obviously choose whether we want to preview this, print it out or email it. But for, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to preview it here. And so this is going to run for all customers in the system with amount owing. I'm going to pull up this um, statement here in the system so that we can review it. And we can see we get a nice uh, pretty report here in a Word template format um, listing all of the uh, outstanding amounts for each of our customers in the system. And that brings us to the end of our webinar. To learn more about working with accounts receivable, please contact us by visiting our webpage at www.profit.ca. Thank you.